Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering source entity and uh, event slash target entity. So these two things uh, right under the Minecraft components tab and then these two blocks right here will uh, allow you to basically target uh, what kind of entity um, between two basic entities. So basically if your dependencies support source entity and entity, then you're able to use both of these things. If not, then if you just have entity, then you can only use the event slash trigger entity. Uh, now for a quick example, this procedure here is basically targeting uh, when the player right clicks on an entity and then we're basically testing for that entity. So uh, now these can vary depending on what procedure you're running it from. Sometimes it might be uh, the other way around. It might be the source entity that you're going to need to test for the entity that it isn't. So in that case, uh, you might need to replace all these blocks here with um, basically a source entity to test to see if it works or not. So uh, with that being said, um, what we're doing is we're testing for a cat. If it's true, then we're going to be spawning a witch with the current location of the uh, entity, the same location as the entity that we right clicked on, so being the cat. And then we're going to despawn the current entity. So what this is going to basically do is when you right click on a cat, it's going to spawn a witch or, well, there, there's a little bug with them, but uh, they actually spawn too. For some reason, I think it's because um, you're technically right two times as fast or something like that. I'm not sure how it all works, but I think it's uh, double clicking or something like that, which causes it to spawn. Uh, this could probably be fixed with a delay, but um, for this example, it's not that important. So uh, let's test this procedure out and uh, well, I'll basically show you how it all works and then I'll explain uh, a little bit more about the source entity. All right, so we have a cat spawn egg because I already did a whole bunch of testing and I think I used up all the cats in this village. So um, without needing to wait for more, I'm just gonna spawn a couple in and it won't make any difference. It's still the entity that would normally spawn in the village anyways. So if we spawn down a cat, uh, that's a nice cat actually, uh, if we right click on it, then it's going to spawn um, two witches. Um, now technically it's only supposed to spawn one, but I think it's a bug um, or I'm just right clicking too fast possibly or it's double clicking in the game for some reason. A delay might fix this issue, but as you can see, uh, we right clicked on the cat, the cat despawned and then we got two witches out of it or a witch. <laughs> um, yeah, so with that being said, uh, let's hop back into Crater and I'll change the code a little bit around so we can customize that code to have some extra parameters. All right, so now that we know that the code actually does work, uh, what I want to do is actually implement um, an extra condition where we're gonna be targeting the uh, player to do something extra. So for example, uh, we can go to the entities proce procedures and we can scroll down and then we have some options down here that we can also test for. Uh, now we can test if the player is sneaking, riding, burning, being ridden, uh, sprinting. So I'm gonna actually use um, the sneaking procedure. I'm gonna remove that because we know that uh, cats well, obviously don't sneak and um, the cat is the event slash trigger. So how do we test if the uh, player is basically sneaking? Well, we already know that the player is basically right clicking on the entities and we know it's going to be the source entity. So we can go and grab the source entity and then drop that into the sneaking. Uh, with some customization of the procedure, we can add a or statement, or pardon me, an and statement, because we want to test for this as well. And then we're going to drag this onto that, 
and we're going to actually duplicate this just to save some time and we're going to remove that we're going to place that down here we're going to be testing if the source entity is true if they're sneaking and if that's true and the the, the entity that we're right clicking on is a cat then it's going to spawn a witch so let's save that and let's hop back in game all right, so we're back in game and let's just go across the river because I don't really want to mess up that town uh, too much. So if we place the uh, cat down over here and we right click on it, nothing should happen. But if we right click and shift click, uh, then the witches will spawn. So again, let's do that quickly. Um, if we go over here just to give us some space, we'll place down a cat. It looks like it's going to eat rabbits now uh, no so if we shift and then right click on it that rabbit just got saved by uh, <laughs> me doing that so yeah basically you shift click and then uh, it will basically um, turn the entity into a witch so as you can see that works if you have any questions you can ask them on my discord server for the community and um, most people will be able to help you with that on the uh, Discord server. So uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.